This is a fun one. It is the Up House from the Disney Pixar film Up. And this is a set that I acquired a little while ago and my wife actually commandeered and decided she was going to build for herself. And uh, she's put it together and I thought I'd do a little review with a little bit of guidance on the build from her. First of all, the colour on this is absolutely gorgeous. It is um, vibrant. It is pretty close to what it looks like in the movie as well. The only inaccuracy you would be able to say there is is the amount of balloons that come out of the chimney, um, but it'll be very difficult to get uh, what would be hundreds and thousands of balloons in there. The balloons are signified really well with these two little brick pieces put on top of the white spike. The exterior is done really nicely and the tiling on the roof isn't too busy. I think that were this a modular building and it went a 360, that it would make a really nice modular building. I know you can do that by buying two of them and sticking them together to create one. You get a couple of minifigures in this one. You also get a little side build with the post box and garden fence there. And you get a little squirrel as well, which I'm sure Doug will enjoy later on. Speaking of Doug, he is the first of our three minifigures that you get with this set. I think it looks great. Um, not too much to say. It's very. It would be very difficult to have made this inaccurate from Lego's perspective. Next up, you've got Carl Fredrickson, the star of the show. The one thing that I would say that I would have liked to have seen from Carl is the tennis ball aspect on the bottom of his walking stick that would have been a nice touch but you get two face prints with Carl and last of all you've got Russell our wilderness explorer and they've done a really good job of kitting the back of his backpack out there with a number of different tools and apparatus you can see there and um, just a little brick piece that slots over the head and down onto the torso to create that backpack effect we've also got a really nice cap and hair piece which you can see there and the cap is angled so it actually covers up the alternate face that you get with Russell. Back to the house however and a lot of people when this set was released which was almost a year ago now um, wanted to see a fully built modular house with um, aspects of the interior but I actually think the way that it's been left it is a fantastic interior. A lot of little details and little knickknacks from the film that you would see starting in the living room area where you've got a really nice effect that's been created to create that lampshade that you can see there and you've got plenty of photos of um, the two of them um, throughout the building but in particular in the living room. My favourite little touch though has to be the little jar that says Paradise Falls on it. I think that is a beautiful little touch and it's got some little um, outlines of gold coins inside it as well which i think is lovely what caught my eye when doing this shot was the technic piece that is in the back of the building there and i have seen a number of people create a full up house by buying a second one and sort of putting them together and i imagine the technic piece is there so that you can do that and attach two halves to make a hole as it were Overall, I think this set is a fantastic set. It's part of the Disney 100 collection from last year, and I think this set, when it does retire, will really appreciate in value. Much like with the Wally build from a few years ago, I can see this set doubling or maybe even tripling in price in due course. So definitely want to grab if you're an investor, but if you are a Disney fan like my wife and you absolutely adore Disney, then this is a set that you can grab as a real statement piece.